First, let's build up the conceptual mechanics for these new types of random algorithms, which accept some input n, and if n is prime, our algorithm will output prime with 100% certainty, and it will never label it as composite. However, if n is composite, then there will be some tiny chance of error e that it will label it prime. Otherwise, there is a 1 minus this tiny error probability that it will correctly identify it as composite. From this, we can say that our algorithm will either prove that the input number is composite, 100% certainty, or else it will output prime with some small chance of error e that we want to make negligible, and therefore we say it is probably prime. So we'll start simple. Out of some universe of integers up to some limit, we grab a number and call this integer n. And we input n into our machine. And previously in our trial division methods, we basically iterated through all values from one to the square root of n and tested if that number divides n. And ideally we only wanted to check primes to save time. And if yes, a divides n, then we know that n is a composite number because we found a composite witness. If not, then we aren't sure. So we go back and we increment a and we test again. And once we exhausted all possible tests, we could then say yes, n is prime if we found no divisors. But now let's be lazy. What if we just pick a few random integers and do a few divisibility tests, which you can think of as random questions. Since we know that some number n, if it's composite, it must have some divisors scattered around. And at minimum, it has a single divisor. And some composite numbers have many divisors. So anyway, we pick a random integer a between 1 and the square root of n, and that's it. Then we just check if a divides n. And as before, if a divides n, then we know for sure that n is composite, we found a witness. If not, then we haven't learned too much except that it could be prime. So to be safe, we could generate a few more random a's and keep testing. And perhaps after a hundred or a thousand iterations, we could stop and say, it's probably prime with some certainty. Say for example, 99.9%. And this is similar to the example game on conditional probability. In the simplest version, we were trying to guess if a coin was fair or if it was a two-headed coin. In this case, tails is like finding a divisor. It's a witness of a fair coin. Heads is the case where we might want the person to flip again and iterate. In this case, after around five heads, we are more than 90% sure, so we could stop and say, oh, we think the coin is two-headed. So here is a program I've set up which compares our old trial division methods with this new random division test. And I'm specifically using the current trial division speed leader, which is a program by Dino, and I posted the link in the header of the program. So to begin, notice the variable number of trials. This is the number of random guesses. So we'll start at something small, such as three. And notice even with small input, if the input is prime, the random division algorithm will always output prime. But when the input is composite, we see the random division can make mistakes and identify it incorrectly as prime. However, we can fix this by increasing the number of trials and then the probability of an error goes down and we see now that the outputs more or less match. And as I test larger input, the error grows again, so I need to increase the number of random tests accordingly. And when I do, the outputs match very nicely. They seem identical. But with huge input size, I need thousands of random tests for this to be accurate. So we haven't actually improved the number of steps needed. Our trial division method still seems better. 
This is because the error rate of the division test is so high. But we are close. We have the right idea. So we need to use another test. We need an equation which is fast to calculate that can be used to prove whether a number is composite. And it must accept not only the input integer n, but also a random integer a and do a random test in the same sort of way.